Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Baser. Our Ask the Doctor question today is, what can we do to promote healthy aging, aging for ourselves and for our loved ones? We have an expert on the set, geriatrician and internist, Dr. Amber Brody. Uh, what can we all do? This is such an important topic. We all want to get old rather than not. Absolutely, yes. What do we do? What do we do? Um, so let's just say we have to, have to have a healthy attitude on getting older and and continue to live. Don't just sit around and, and wait for life to happen around you. Don't be pessimistic. You got to be you know, actually, I, I, I It's a different phase of your life, but it's not the end of your life. I, I just, you really have to think absolutely. of it as a different time in your life. Yes, absolutely. I, I have 80 and 90 year olds who, who say they, they can't wait to get to tomorrow. They can't wait to do this. They have plans to do that. You have to have a healthy mindset and, and you have to be able to handle stress properly. And you really have to get out there and exercise. Um, exercise the mind as well as the body. It, the physical fitness is yep. so important. As you get older, everything hurts. <laughs> and so do you have any suggestions? How do you incorporate excellent, that with exercise? Excellent. I also, we, we only have about 20 seconds. But. I, I practice a, um, a large amount of chronic pain management and there's absolutely nothing wrong with discussing this with your primary care doctor. If you are in pain, there are things you can do. There is absolutely nothing wrong with taking part in pharmacotherapy and having that discussion and there are ways to, to keep you it. moving. Right. Yes. Moving is more important than not Absolutely, not yes. And unfortunately, that's all we have time right. for today. <laughs> if you have a question you'd like to ask us, please uh, contact us at health talk at nuvance.org. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon.